everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have for you today our weekly Tesco food shop and I will try and pop on our seven day meal plan at the end of this as well. So I really hope you're doing all right and I will see you soon. So here is our weekly shop. I will just say this week it's not as big as it normally is just because my parents have got the gusto meals coming this week and they've offered us two of them. So we're actually going to have gusto for two days this week and we've got food for some of the other days. I'm gonna start down here today and I've picked up one of these Lint Roasted Hazelnut Dark Chocolate Bars. It's my uncle's 70th next week and I've got him some whiskey and he absolutely loves dark hazelnut chocolate. So yeah, you don't actually see dark nutty chocolate that often. So yeah, saw that one, it was on offer down to 125 or 150 from a couple of pounds. So I'll pop that with the whiskey. And then I've got some Smarties for the kids this week. I've got some custard creams and then some Jeffa cake cake bars. And that's it really for the kids bits this week. They've got plenty in the cupboards and I'm just trying to cut down spending on what we don't actually need so they can use up what we've got in the cupboards. I've got three of the fragrance free baby wipes just because we've run out. And then a bottle of Ace. I picked up one of these Pledge Fluffy Dusters and I've got those just because we've got brand new blinds in our house and I'm determined not to let them get manky and I thought that would fit in between the blinds really well and hopefully keep them dust free. I picked up a four pack of kitchen towels and then our usual Tesco non-bio detergent capsules. I've got two of the Tesco hand washes. These were only 75 pence and I just thought they looked quite nice. I thought I'd give those a go for a change. And then I've got a palm olive milk and honey shower gel. I'll just go over the back there. We've been really naughty this week and we've put a Southern Comfort on. So it's a massive one litre bottle. It was 28 pounds down to 18. So it is a bit of an extravagance to be honest. Um, but it was actually cheaper for the litre than it was for the smaller one and that will last us probably years. I especially love Southern Comfort and Lemonade and I don't really drink that often. If I do, then we tend to have like a flavoured cider or a red wine in the winter. But at the moment, I just really fancy ice cold Coke or lemonade and it would be nice to have a splash of Southern Comfort in some days as well. So got those ones. Over the back there are our usual three whole milks. I've got a tin of sweet corn, some of the creamy tomato and herb pasta bake, and then a pack of mini naan breads. And then we've got some spaghetti, a big tub of stalk for some baking, got some double cream for a recipe, some anchor spreadable because that was 350 to 250. And although we don't actually need it this week, just picked it up to keep in the fridge. And then we've got two packs of the maple and pecan plats. They were 120 for one pack or 180 for two. So I've got one for my mum and dad. And although they run out today, I will just pop those in the oven just to freshen them up in the morning and they'll be really nice with a cup of coffee. A pack of nine crumpets. I did actually order two packs of the giant ones. So four giant crumpets, because we like those with butter and marmite. They've sent these through, but that's fine. A garlic baguette. And then over here, we've got some Munch Munch and some Milky Bars puddings for the kids. And then we've got a ball of mozzarella, just because I like to keep that in, either for a pasta recipe I do, or just to jazz up our pizzas. And in actual fact, I'll probably use that this week with some tomato puree, some peppers, anything else we've got in the fridge. And I will top the garlic mini naans and make the mini pizzas with those. We've got some coleslaw and some cheddar. And then we've got some pork cocktail sausages because we just find those really handy for picnics and quite a long day, a week or so. Um, so it's good to have those in just for a quick picnic. Half a cucumber. And then we've got some baby plum tomatoes, a pack of courgettes for a recipe. And if I don't end up using them in any recipe this week, I will cut them up with some peppers and some onions and do like roasted veg in the oven. A thick pack of bacon and spaghetti. And then over the back, some naked noodles because they were down to 75 pence. And then we've got some baby leaf salad, a pack of sausages for the freezer, some Wiltshire cured ham, I think that was down to two pounds, a red onion, and then we've got a big pack of grapes. I've got these three for 150, so I've got the two watermelons and the pineapple fingers, some blueberries, some super sweet British strawberries, they were the same price as a small pack, so they were on offer for a couple of pounds, which is really good. And then I've got a pack of raspberries, so good. I think they were a fraction over a pound, which is so cheap for raspberries. Got some Cornish new potatoes. 
some carrots, some satsumas, and then a small broccoli, a bunch of spring onions, the sweet corn cobets that we normally have. Over the back there, a sliced white loaf, and then some sun bites. And here we've got two packs of the maple barbecue pork ribs. This was a substitution. I actually ordered the pulled pork, like two packs of pulled pork, which were two for six pounds. I was gonna make up like pork baps with chips and corn, but they've sent these through. So we will give these a try with the kids. We can always just take the meat off and do the same thing. That was a substitution that we accepted. And last but not least, an unsmoked pork gammon joint. And that is everything. So it wasn't the most expensive shop. To be honest, it would have been quite a cheap shop if it wasn't for the Southern Comfort at £18. Like I say, we haven't needed to get tons and tons of meals because of the gusto. So we've got the ribs, we've always got sausages in, we can make mini pizzas for lunches and things. So yeah, I've got more than enough to be getting on with this week. Just thought I'd run through the meal plan really quickly for the week. So I'm actually filming this on Monday. It should go out either today or tomorrow. So tonight, as I mentioned in the video, two of the days this week, we have got a gusto meal from my family. So we are having spicy Korean chicken and baked rice. So we will see how that one works out. I'm just gonna prep it all in a bit and we'll probably cook that one when the kids go to bed. They've just had some meatballs and pasta and some salad, which we had left over. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we are having gammon egg chips and peas. On Wednesday is the other gusto meal, which is smoked fish chowder. It looks really, really yummy. I think it's smoked fish and leek chowder. So yeah, that sounds yummy, yummy. And we will probably dip some garlic bread or some crusty bread and butter into that one. Thursday, we are having pork ribs, corn on the cobs and roasted potatoes. Those are the ribs that I mentioned in the video. They had substituted for some pulled pork. So we're gonna give that a go. The kids have never actually had ribs, I don't think. They might have done. Um, I'm not sure. We'll pull the pork off and hopefully they like it because it's nice and sweet. So we will give it a try on Friday. We're having sausage, mash, vegetables and gravy. And then Saturday, we are going to make a tuna pasta bake with some salad. We've always got salad towards the end of the week to use up. So I thought that would be a good one. And on Sunday, my plan is to do a roast chicken dinner with Yorkshire puddings, veg and gravy and roast potatoes. But instead of a roast chicken that we would normally have, we're going to use up some chicken I've had in the freezer for probably two months. Um, I'll just slice the top of them, pop some stuffing in there. I, we don't usually wrap bacon as well because we just find that that's a bit much for the kids. Uh, so yeah, I'll just use chicken thighs. I'm so sorry, the sun has just come out really, really bright where I'm stood. <laughs> so yeah, that's the meal plan. Hope that helps. See you soon.